Yeah. Okay, so we're at the show. We finally made it. We're here at Cedia 2023. 2023, we're together. We're gonna go do some exploring. It's hopping. All the top brands are here. Yeah, it's huge. So what we're going to do is, this video is going to be kind of a, a lightning walkthrough of most of the show. It's big. We're certainly not going to be able to cover all of it. No. We're going to get some key interviews with some people that, you know, really matter uh, to us at least and, and our line of the industry in home theatre. But we're going to try and take you to a few interesting stands as well and do the best we can. So let's go for a walk. Uh, behind us, you can see uh, Crestron. Already Crestron, um, Planar. Planar. Sony's over here. So we'll take a look. We're going to spin the camera around. Aaron's going to take the lead. And uh, we're just going to show you around a few of the stands. Let's get to it. This is going to be pretty fast paced. All right, let's go. So we've got a massive Sony booth here. As you know, Sony is very prominent in the industry, not just with the displays and their AVRs, but in the filmmaking process. Um, so this is an exciting booth. They've got projectors uh, inside. We're gonna go take a look at that at some point. We've got a lot of their top end panels, their OLEDs, their LEDs. AVRs for Sony have really um, kind of uh, taking a, a nice turn upward because now they've always been in the market but over COVID we've seen a lot of AVRs really uh, just become more harder to get and unavailable and these guys have rise to the occasion and they sound great you know I've done a number of these in home and uh, customers have always been happy so let's uh, let's keep going all right what have we got next so for those of you watching you got to be very grateful you're not looking at the back of my head <laughs> Is mine nicer, Andrew? Okay, so we got their massive lineup of Sony projectors, laser projectors. We got, some, um, you know, the series down here. That starts at your more entry level, high-end entry level, so we'll say that. This, this is the 5000, right? Yeah, this yep. is the 5000, yep. right? 5000 ES. We go to the 6000 ES. Which we don't get in Australia. Oh, no? no okay, we do have no, access to this, so that is another great opportunity to share uh, HD and things. We're, we're not responsible enough to have that. So, really great product. Really excited to get into the projector booth later, share that with you, our thoughts on... Um, just that experience. Right. I think they're teamed up with Kef. So let's keep going. Let's go. Over to the right, there's some audio controls. So this is a, another uh, high-end uh, AVR amplifier brand. Uh, they're really prominent amongst integrators. So, uh, so they got some really great amp solutions for behind TVs, getting audio where we need to get it, but maybe not have the ability to throw, you know, a, a, a massive AVR or a processor amplifier. Yeah, great stuff. Uh, we got the, again, just like Sony, a massive Samsung booth here showcasing, you know, the beautiful frame art that they've been doing and selling very well. If you just take a look at that frame TV, how gorgeous is that? That's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, now we're getting you know, these great quality panels in homes, but we have the ability to shut off that just void of black that hangs in the room. Now we can display art, and when you leave the room, the art just disappears. Actually, speaking of digital art, that's something that we really want to focus on at HTE. So if you guys are interested in digital art, even at the highest level, there's the, oh, we'll have a look at the barcode. LED. Yeah, we've already gotten yeah. into the engineering, yeah, yeah. but we're going to so see that on that. display. Uh, we'll whiz around and check that out. But yeah, uh, digital art, uh, yes, we do dedicated home centers, but digital art's going to be a really big thing. Yeah, and that's, that's know, really taken off with yeah. the technology. You can have these massive walls. We're going to see some of them walking around yep. where it's going to be very exciting in the home space. Let's go. So here's uh, Snap One. We've, we will have some footage on Snap One and the Control Force solutions. Yeah, we're going to dive a little deeper on Snap yep. One because it's a great product that complements everything we do in the theater room, but also the whole house. Uh, so yeah, we're going to get back into that. Of course, the Cedia stand. So this is uh, what Cedia is all about. Over here, for those of you who are aware, Somfy, well known for sort of blind motorization uh, and control. Elite luxury home seating. Where you can get the world's best massage. Oh no, my wife gives me the world's best massage. You know, I don't think I'm trading her in for a chair. Name. 
Name and Focal. Yeah. We've so just finished a big job with Focal. Focal Utopias. So this yeah. is Focal Utopia 1000s. And we built them with this. And then we had the subs, top and bottom. These things are like eight foot tall. They're massive, they're yes. Massive, yeah. Yes, I've uh, I've installed the 1000s and, uh, sorry, the 1000s IWL CR6, as yep. you can see here. And that was a beefy in wall. I picked that up and it was like, okay, the engineering in here, the materials, uh, you know, right away from just holding an in wall that, that heavy that you're gonna get some performance. And it was, it was a great cinema. What else have we got? Remote controls, Golden Ear, Audio Quest. Audio Quest. Oh, over here, Surgex. Now, Surgex is interesting. Surgex come from a very industrial point of view, but they have very, very solid and stable power protection. Yeah, so they have lots of different power and different ways that they configure their power depending on your needs, okay? Uh, but what's really great about Surgex, and this is going back to my hi-fi days, uh, where the guys were very, you know, keen, the hi-fi guy, the two channels, very keen on giving, feeding the best power that you can to your uh, high-end audio equipment, to your speakers, uh, but also make sure that it's protected. And I know that these guys in the past put out a lot of YouTube videos, a lot of videos showing comparisons between other power products, and this would always just survive. So we just finished a job with seven Macintosh amps in it. Very impressive. Think and HTE both use Bluestream cables and equipment and uh, it's quite prevalent in our installation so one of our favorite suppliers. Yeah, let's talk about Bluestream for a sec, okay? Because this is a product that often the customers really, at the end of the day, know nothing about. I mean, they may see it on an invoice broken down amongst many various products that we put into a job, um, but these guys are fantastic uh, at making uh, adapters to get whether it's uh, source content uh, from, say, a rack room up to a TV, to a display, um, you're gonna have adapters here to do that. And so what I often use are these uh, audio adapters here. So uh, a lot of TVs today, they are digital audio out, but when we're running multi-zone audio through a house, we wanna extract what uh, uh, content what source audio is from the TV back down to that multi-zone amplifier so we could hear that great sound and better speakers than the TV that's just on the wall. So this is a, an adapter that would do that, that would make that possible through uh, a category cable from down in the rack room up back to that TV, as Very long cool. as the infrastructure is there. Yeah. So cool. really great stuff. Move on. Right, where are we going from here? Uh, LG's over here. Very big stand. Wow, look at uh, that. You can probably guess what they've got. TVs. Life is good. Do a quick walk through here. So of course, LG is known for their OLED panels. Oh, here we go. Why don't we take the camera here? Yeah, some very... Some of the best TVs you can get in the market from LG, thanks to their OLED technology. Okay. Oh, so here are our friends at AV Pro Edge. They provide a lot of equipment, not dissimilar in a way to Bluestream, you might say. And correct me if I'm wrong, AV Pro is also behind a lot of the calibration tools you'll use. AV Pro Meridio, who I believe, uh, you know, they're very similar companies and I believe they've recently joined forces again. So, yeah. So right. here's a video wall we saw yesterday. This is the Just Video Walls wall. Again, this can be adapted for the information we got yesterday for both commercial and home use. Uh, but this is a great example. We saw some fantastic comment, uh, sorry, content on here uh, earlier, which really showcased what you can do with digital art. 
So we should probably explain, we did come into the show earlier, we did have a look at the Barco wall being assembled. Today's the first day it's open, um, but we had a bit of a, uh, a sneak preview, you might say. Yeah. So we saw that, we saw the Barco wall being assembled. Uh, so uh, those videos will be brought to you. They may not all be in sequence, but they will all be online, okay? So again, we're at one of the stands here. This is one of the stands I particularly wanted to come and talk to. This is Dayton Audio, and I'm with Adrian. Mm -hmm. Adrian, I'm Andrew, how are you? Nice to meet you, I'm great. Okay, so the reason I wanted to come here is, you know, at Home Theatre Engineering, we're really uh, dependent on testing our equipment, and you need the test gear to do it. So one of the reasons I know that Dayton Audio exists is because of uh, the DATS test kit. For those of you who aren't aware, it's a really neat tool that basically plugs into a PC, connects to a loudspeaker, and you can do a whole bunch of calculations with it. You also have some test microphones as well. Yeah, we have the OmniMic, which comes with its own suite of software. It'll tell yeah. you RT60, uh, yeah. frequency response, and all that kind of thing. Of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, is are there any other test mics, or is it just the OmniMic? Or um, we have a few more budget mics. We have like IMMs, which are more mobile phone based, right. yeah. uh, and then a regular USB mic. But the OmniMic's the better. The, 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 yes, better the flagship one. Right. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff I don't know about uh, Dayton Audio. What else do you guys do? So Dayton Audio kind of started out really well known in the DIY circles. Yeah, you know, yeah. Clearly with all our drivers, but recently we've been trying to, you know, uh, increase our standing in some things. So yeah. we've and we've started doing multi-zone amplifiers and distribution systems cool, maybe yeah, yeah. five or ten years ago. Uh, but recently we're actually moving more into like home audio and finished audio. Oh, cool. Stuff. Let's move over here and yep. have a look. Oh, cool. So turntables, valve amps, speakers, all that kind of thing. So for those of you who are DIYs and don't know Dayton Audio, Dayton Audio, as you said, are well known for producing drivers and the sort of equipment and hardware that people would use to build and assemble their own equipment. And we're massively about the DIYs because, you know, that's how it all begins. And then as you sort of made me move up and then you head off into the lofty heights of the Trinovs and Barcos mm -hmm. and Mavias and things like that. But it all really begins here. And I, I kind of walked past the stand the other day and I went, hey, it's Dayton Audio. I really want to check it out and give, give them a bit of a wrap because I think it's companies like Dayton Audio that really help elevate the industry from, from the grassroots level. So, yeah, it's cool. Thanks for giving us a look at the products. Yeah, Appreciate your time. Yeah, thank you for coming by. All right, take care. You too. See you later. Okay, this is the Priscilla booth. Uh, we'll so, have a chat with the guys from here. HD is very prominent with Priscilla. I've just started to put Priscilla in my theaters and in our demo space is under construction with Priscilla. Uh, we've got their smaller product on display, some in walls. What's really their big launch this year is the Priscilla AVR. We'll try and have a chat with Gervin about that as well. Very cool. And of course their subs as well. Here's the cues for the uh, for the Trinov demo. demo. We'll be in there and we we'll bring that to you as well. All right, let's sneak around the back. So here's a little preview of what we're about to experience later with waveforming. This is uh, one of the bigger technologies to debut here at Cedia. I think this is the second demo that they've put together. Oh, they've had a few. They had one at IOC, they had at Adelaide, and they've here. So they've done a few, but I think this is the most mature by a long way. Yeah, yeah, so very excited to check this out. Heading down here, we look like we've got Stuart. So Stuart film screens. I can see uh, Ring is over here. So if you need a doorbell, I'm sure they're much more than doorbells, but. Here we go. Actually, here's a really good example of, this is not a test pattern. These are the different screens. So from the left to right, we've got Studio Tech 130 G4, Studio Tech 100, the Grey Mat 70, the Firehawk G5, and then the Phantom HA8 ALR Plus, which is the one designed for ultra short throw projectors. Oh, look, I spot a Barco. So here we've got... Look up, this is a Nord. This is a Nord Barco on a Stuart film screen. It's a brave man who puts a Nord on a ceiling bracket. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, I'm sure, not easy to accomplish. Now, I don't see, I, I, I don't know if you can see how clear that's coming through on the camera, but, and we've got a lot of light, of course, shining in, a projector beside it, Epson here, but uh, really, Stuart is one of the most innovative in, in screen technologies. 
And backed up by, of course, the light output from the infamous Nord as well. Of course, yeah. I Very mean, cool. your screen is only as good as your projector. It's a tandem relationship. Uh, and this one is a really good one. behind him we have the JVC booth so this is another booth we want to get inside and really um, well we're really excited to experience their laser projector technology uh, they're doing things a little bit different at this booth a lot of booths uh, showing high-end video uh, are partnered up with Mad VR uh, they've been doing frame adapt and HDR tone mapping before uh, before the Mad VR product launch and so they're very confident with their technology here at this booth they're not partnering up with anybody it says JVC all the way so we're gonna check that out a little bit later and give you our take Over here, we've got SVS. Most people have either heard or heard of SVS. Oh, this is uh, really like, cool. Looks like they've seriously broken one of their subwoofers. <laughs> here we go. Bang & Olufsen. So if you know anything about Bang & Olufsen, their speaker designs are just I mean, take a look. I mean, these are some of the most innovative speaker designs. I, I don't think there's any argument that Bang & Olufsen take AV to art. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So if you want to put a speaker in your house and get the best sound, but have something that's a statement piece, a conversation piece, then this is your brand. Okay, so we are back at the Barco Residential booth. This is very exciting because a couple days ago we showed you the engineering behind this massive LED wall, but we did not get to see it completed. It is complete, it's on display. Let's go inside. So I just want to stand in front of this so you really capture the scale of this cinema wall. This is Cinemascope. The Bifrost, Bifrost model, it is outstanding. We've seen a lot of big screens, big LED walls on display, a lot of projectors, a lot of different technology, but I would say this is certainly the tops in terms of cinematic experience. I mean, visually stunning. Look at the highlights here. Very seamless panel as well. I'm looking at this and unlike other displays we saw here at the show, I can't see anything. This looks like one movie screen. I mean, I think people are walking in and they're saying, where's the projector? There is no projector, folks. This is an LED wall. Just gorgeous. And again, what's very special about this wall, Peter mentioned uh, before, is that you can, uh, you know, depending on the environment, if this is in a cinema room or, or a, um, uh, uh, a more lifestyle environment. You can really, you can, you can control the lightness of this LED wall and get retain that that cinematic experience without any more ray or any shadowing on the panel system. So it's very impressive. I'll shut up now and just give you a peek at the Top Gun demo. So there you have it, the Barco Bifrost LED wall in its glory, a big one here at the show has traveled uh, a long way to get here and it looks spectacular. I'm back, I'm on camera. He's much better looking than me, which is why we have him on camera. <laughs> um, so I think we've covered most of the show now. Uh, there is a section downstairs. I don't know if we're going to get to that. Most of the stuff that we are looking at at the moment is up here. But if we get a chance, we'll take you through there. Uh, monitor auto. So I don't know about you, but back home we do a lot of monitor product. This is a speaker brand in the UK. They make some hi-fi product, as you can see. Some beautiful towers on display here. Okay, 
so both of us together again all right i hope you've enjoyed this kind of lightning tour through sea deer at least to give you an idea of what's here we probably haven't covered everything that would be very hard to do but i hope you've had a, a good glimpse of it and then on our channel of course with aaron and myself there will be videos we've got a bit of a hit list yeah and we'll be publishing them getting them online but ultimately this is cdia 2023 cdia 2023 thank you for joining us